In this video I'm going to show you some miscellaneous functions that F5 can do uh, such as just saving an image manually, uh, how to locate a position on the map, and uh, how to uh, set up your map options such as the color schemes and line thicknesses. First thing is very basic. Uh, you've got a, uh, a satellite image and you want to save this to file. You just go to file, save image, you select the height and width and the quality in percents and click save image and you save that to your hard drive. Uh, the different formats available are listed. Uh, again I suggest that you use PNG format. should be the smallest file size and the uh, best quality. Now the image might not look exactly like you see it on your screen so you have to play around with the height and width uh, a little bit to get it to look just the way you want it. To locate a, a place on the map, let's say there's a city or a county that you've never heard of and you don't know where it is. So I'm going to pick something random here. I'm going to say Redwood, Minnesota. I hit OK. And the map zooms in and it happens to be a county so it flashes the whole county. Another one that I know of is uh, Aiken, Minnesota. It's a city and it's a county. So if I just type Aiken, comma, MN, it flashes the city and then the county. Notice that it also zooms in on the area. So if this is in Texas and I'm zoomed in in Minnesota, if I type in Houston, it will move over to Houston and zoom in and flash that. It also flashes the county. There are different map options you can set. You go to Options and Map Options. And here's where you can pick from any of the different maps and set up how they're going to look. If I pick the current temperature, it will populate the form with all the different colors uh, for each temperature. And then I can either edit if I were to pick one and hit edit, I can change the colors. I can change the range. I'm just going to go from 80 to 85. And then that changes it for me. Uh, likewise, you can put a start value and an end value. If I were to pick a uh, current dew point, for example, I've got a start value at 45. Now if I go back to my map and show you what that looks like, you can see that the contouring starts at the value 45. Now there's dew points out here, they're just lower than 45 and we're just not showing them. Because for me, I'm only interested in the more moist air for the kind of forecasting I do. So that's why I have it starting at 45. Now if I want to get rid of that, I just have to delete that value and then it'll contour everything. But if you do that, you want to make sure to add in values because uh, we only have values starting at 45. So they're, the values below this are going to be black because there's no colors assigned to that. If at any point you do anything and you will just want to go back to the way the program started, you can just click Restore Default and that will put all the values back in there the way that the program came. You can also set the line thickness. If you want it to be a little thicker, you can put a 2 or a 3 in this field. To save your settings, all you have to do is hit the X and that will save everything you've done.